What I've got here is a tractive dog tracker, like a GPS tracker for your dog. It works with an app that you put on your phone. You have to have a good uh, mobile signal on your phone for it to work properly. Then it pairs with the tracker and then you can see exactly where your dog is. But it seems to be as long as you've got a good mobile signal. Now I can show you examples of really good mobile signal, really good outdoor GPS signal and that's what I base my review on. So have a look at the video, see what you think. I'll uh, comment at the end and tell you what I think. The attractive GPS dog tracker. <laughs> okay, this is my review for the tractive dog tracker thing. I'm doing a voiceover because in this part of the video you could hear the washing machine going. Basically what I've got set up here is the dog tracker, the app on the phone on the right, as you can see there. I have a Garmin Forerunner or something, I can't remember what it's called. I'm just wanting to see which one will get a track of the satellites first. And as you can see, the Garmin Edge 520 already has acquired the satellites. Uh, that one hasn't yet connected to the satellites. It's still trying. Still trying. Still trying. Still trying. I'm putting them both up on this to see if it'll uh, help. The actual watch has normally got them by now. Oh, I can't remember what that said. Uh, I'm doing this voiceover a little while after. Uh, this was all done before lockdown and now I'm voicing over it after lockdown. Oh, that was me just showing you that I do have a good internet connection in case, well, a good mobile connection in case that has anything to do with it. So that's 30, 40 odd megabits per second. Um, still hasn't connected to the satellites there. Neither has the watch, which normally has by now. That's normally quite good, so I wasn't sure what's going on there. Uh, oh, look, that's got, oh no, that actually pretended it had me but that was this is like two or three kilometers from where I actually am so that was wrong uh, what I did then was I gave him tried to give him more of a chance I went outside uh, just with the watch and the app and the tractive told the watch I was going for a run, it looks at my heart rate first and then goes to try and track the satellites. And there we go! It has acquired the satellites, the watch. That's what it normally does. Don't know what it was doing in the house. This app still has not even acquired the satellites. Uh, I uh, hope you can see that. I can't see it on the small monitor I'm looking on. There's the dogs running round. It still thinks I'm three kilometres away, which I'm not. Uh, I had to speed everything up. And was that it? Yes, that was it. That's at the end of the village where I am now. And it has finally acquired the satellites and the position of the tractive. So hopefully this is where I decide. Oh, I was trying to do the live track in there. Oops, so there you go, that's me. 15 minutes later, two very annoyed dogs who want to go out for a walk. Uh, oh, I actually changed this to a hike on the watch so that I could also record it on the watch, which would be interesting. Um, it's a Garmin, it's actually a Garmin Phoenix. Um, so there's the tractive. I set it up with both the dog's names because I, initially I wasn't sure which dog was going to have it on. What I'm doing here is I'm actually recording this on the Garmin Phoenix watch that you saw at the start of the video. 
Uh, I think I'm trying to get this to do the live feed this time, but it doesn't work. Uh, at the end of this video, you'll actually see two pictures. The first one in red is the uh, the results I got from the Garmin watch, and coming up straight after it is the results I got from this. You can actually see how accurate it is. There's the watch. Uh, feel free to pause these. And there's the actual dog tracker. Once again, I did a, a run uh, or a cycle. This is what I got. And this is what it should have been like. This is done with the watch. Uh, again, here's another one done with the tracker, the blue uh, line. And this is what it actually was. Okay, hopefully you've watched the video now. Uh, I had to do a voiceover. I thought it was better to do a voiceover on it because there was lots of wind noise and uh, I hate watching videos of wind noise. So anyway, now you've seen what I, how this performs, I can tell you that I think it is absolute garbage. It's not going to work in, in any situation where you'd be worried you'd lose your dog. It isn't going to work. Uh, so you'd be better, I think, putting a bell on your dog than investing in one of these things. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove the battery and uh, get that recycled properly. But this actual part of it, I've actually, I did subscribe to this, it's a subscription one. So I've cancelled that immediately because this is absolute garbage and useless.